What's up, y'all? In today's video, we go inshore fishing and I catch a big, beautiful Spanish mackerel. I fillet them up and then we cook them on the campfire with this beautiful cast iron skillet and some fresh corn. This is Spanish mackerel. Catch, clean, cook! X-Rap. We we're over here in this area today. We heard about bluefish and Spanish mackerels in shore, and we just came across a nice Spanish mac. What a way to start the day. Look at that. On the X-Rap. So Sizzle, will you get that fish up? What are you playing? She's playing around over here, playing with her, she's playing with her food. <laughs> yeah, we just came out this morning to check traps and do a little troll. We heard there's some bluefish out here. We want to do a bluefish catch and cook, but Looks like we may be having some Spanish mac for dinner. Hey, I'll take a Spanish mac. That's a good size. Whoa! <laughs> now it's on my seat. Good job, Sizzle. He almost went overboard. This is the first day. Yeah, first day fishing. Look at this. That's that a little... solid Spanish mac, and I really am shocked. I just can't hold him. I can't hold him. He's very green, but I'm just really shocked that he just ate that Rapala x wrap that's really deep. So we're trolling a bunch of different setups around. And this is the standard stuff we troll for snook too. But you can see that these guys like them just as much. These guys are delicious. I can't wait to cook them up for y'all. Let's get another one. Oh, it's the world's smallest Spanish mackerel. How cute. Look at the little baby. All right, so we are in the Spanish mackerel zone. This guy, unfortunately, I think he was hanging on the, he was on the rod a little too long before I realized he was there. Oh, he's okay. All right, so I'm gonna get him off the hook and release him. They gotta be a minimum size of 12 inches to the fork length, so unfortunately, this guy is not going to keep. Let him go. He's so cute. <laughs> so that's two, two Spanish mackerels on two different baits. And when we caught that bigger one on the x wrap, I put two of those out, so that way we can get deeper in the water column. We have an actual full moon today and there's a lot of current moving. So these fish are chewing. You want to get baits down deeper because we have really high tides right now. Fish on. The area where we were catching the Spanish Max, we didn't get any more. So we decided to switch locations, start a troll in a different area. And now I'm hooked up again. See what it is. Looks like it's a good old Jack Craval trap bait. You could always use that. Here he is. We just gotta catch some more. We gotta get a little bit more for dinner, even though that Spanish Mac is probably more than enough. Got a fish on coming in. We're gonna see what it is. Oh, look at that. The lady fish. For a second I got excited. It kind of looked like it was a, a uh, Spanish Mac coming in by the way they jump. They go all over the place. But hey, I'll take it. I need extra crab trap bait. Chester. Chester. So I just, we came back to the ramp, pulling the boat out of the water. Chester just said he is a huge fan and I want to give a shout out to his son Xander. I guess they watch my videos midnight. Every night. Every night. <laughs> They're obsessed with it, so thanks so much, Xander. And one day, hopefully, I can meet you too. But awesome, nice to meet you. Thank you for Ask following. Ask how the remora was. <laughs> Amazing. It's just like a cobia. <laughs> right? It is a cobia. If you gave it to somebody and they wouldn't like they know would, the difference, they would know. They would not know. No, they, they would won't. think it's the most delicious sure, fish ever. Sure. Remora, guys. Keep cooking. Put him. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. We made it back to the house, guys, and it's a little on the rainy side now, so I'm under the porch and I'm getting my knife ready. I'm using the Regal River Fishing Tool from Smith's Consumer Products, which is an awesome little tool. It has all the bells and whistles you're ever going to need. It has a coarse and a fine side with non-sliding feet. As you can see, I'm keeping it securely right on the table, so I'm not going to injure myself. And I'm just making a couple swipes with the fine side. They have a coarse and fine side. The diamond side, the coarse side is a uh, diamond, actually. And the really cool thing about this, too, it just comes with all these extra little gadgets, I guess. There's like a little um, eye hole here to clean up jigs, to clean up the actual eye hole of jigs if it gets paint on it. You also have a sharpener right here for hooks on the boat. I keep this on the boat with me at all times. 
And the great thing about this part too is the fact that this cuts mono, floral, and braid, which is just an excellent little tool to have on the boat with you. And then of course the sharpeners on either side. So don't forget about my code DARSIZZLE15 on their website, plus free shipping on anything you purchase on the website. So make sure you use my code and check out their stuff because that little Regal River fishing tool is essential on the boat. But we're gonna get right into this. Let me clean off my blade, get off that, get it nice and sharp. This is a seven inch Lawaya, and we're just gonna get right to it. Of course, this is from Smith as well. Here's a Spanish Mac. And these fish aren't as hard to fillet. They're very similar to a kingfish. They don't have the thickest, toughest um, scales on them or skin. So I'm just making that cut all the way down. It's been so long since I've had a Spanish Mac and I'm so excited to eat it tonight. Nice one, one nice long cut. And then just follow that backbone down. And once again, guys, you always want a sharp knife. I'm sorry if this looks a little weird because I am a lefty. And then it'll break over these pin bones. But once again, like very easy fish to fillet. And the meat actually looks excellent. Wow. Look at that meat. Look at that, guys. So just sliced off that side, no problem. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. I'm so excited to have this. Can't wait for Putin to cook it up for us. I'm just gonna clean the knife. Then we're just gonna use the same exact knife. This is a seven inch, which is perfect. My go-to knife for smaller fish. And then I like their nine inch knife for the bigger fish. Just gonna go right under that skin. This looks amazing. So much better than a kingfish. And their skin is so thin too that I actually accidentally went through on one side, but that's no big deal. Start on the other side again. There we go been so long since I filleted one. Super thin, like paper skin. All right, 45 degree angle, bring it close to you. Just work that knife down. There we go. So you see how I messed up on that side, but I just started over on the other side and I, was, I got it off no problem. But there is our beautiful Spanish Mac, and you can see the bloodline right here in the middle. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and whack that out right now. There's pin bones up here. You do see pin bones, but overall, this meat looks so good. Can't wait to have it. There we go. Just like that, it's done. Two beautiful loins of Spanish Mac, and that's a nice size Spanish Mac. Honestly, can't wait to go and catch more, even though I haven't even had them yet. I know he's delicious. All right, guys, so I'm gonna finish off the other side. I'm gonna meet you in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Nice job playing that Spanish Mac dar sizzle, and welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. Now, you can see, today we're gonna do things a little bit different. It's been so freezing cold here in Florida, I think it was down to 60 last night. It's about 72 right now in the sun. Darcy's inside in a coat. <laughs> we decided to do a little cookout outside on our little uh, very casual <laughs> fire pit here. I'm gonna start a fire and we're gonna get going. It's uh, such a nice day out. We figured we'd get to have a fire. You know, in Florida, we don't have a lot of cool nights to have a fire. So we're gonna dive right in before the holidays and figure a good afternoon for a little Lanshark Lager my land truck logger chair, but uh, you know, I don't start a lot of campfires. I'm not a big camper. I got some lighter fluid. I got some nice wood in here. And I got a lot of uh, crumpled up stuff I found around the yard. And if you're familiar with that old Eddie Murphy uh, stand-up routine, we're just gonna put about five gallons of gasoline on here and get a fire going. So let's get right to it. I'm gonna add a little. I got one of these. I have watched Survivor many, many times. I'm an avid watcher, so this really should be no problem for me. A little extra on there. I got a fire. And how I got it rigged is I got this grate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these bricks to adjust it. Now I know you guys are gonna have a whole lot of comments down in the comment section, but uh, we're just kind of winging it out here, having a good time. So let's let that wood get going. I don't have any coals, I have real wood. All right guys, looks like we have a little fire going now. So what I'm gonna do, lower these a little bit Ooh, these are hot already. Let's make a little grill. 
Ooh, it's hot. Now I'm going to put my pan right on there. I'm going to flip this over. And go along with, remember I told you we're going to be doing some opening mail along the way. One of you great people bought me a cast iron skillet. Which really brought me like back home and like the old school and what made me decide to do this. So we're going to cook the fish right on there. And thank you very much, Roly Raul, for sending this to us. This looks, oh, I better take this off. I've used this a couple times already. It seems awesome. And also I want to thank Alden. He sends us stuff all the time. Thank you so much, Alden. We have finally opened up your, your personal license plates and they say, what's up, Darcizzle Nation? Darcizzle Nation, so that's for the truck and Darcy's car. So thank you very much uh, to everybody. So I'm just gonna let the heat up and then uh, we put the fish on there. What I've got is uh, the Spanish Mac and I've just done some simple recipes and I put on Facebook, you know, what's your guys' favorite a simple Spanish mac recipe because we don't have it a lot and we really want to taste it. We want to put junk all over it like you guys always say. Uh, so I just soaked it in um, Italian dressing. Just right on the bottle for like an hour or two. And then we're going to throw that right on there. Should be delicious. And then I went and got some corn and I just put salt and pepper on here and butter and wrapped it up in the uh, tin foil. And we're going to put that right in the grill as well. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Old school campfire cooking. All right, guys, my pan's all heated up, and we got the lovely dog Sizzle here. Yes. <laughs> Sizzle, why don't you put on this corn, and I'm going to put the fish on the frying pan. Where do you want me to put it? What side? That put side? it real close to the pan, because I don't have that big of a fire. Oh, it's you, hot enough. Do you put butter on these? Yeah, butter and salt and pepper. So we... Yeah, a little cookout going here. Well, that's going to cook fast. Yeah. It's cooking fast. You got hey, your fry? Get these real close, baby. And we got one more. We got four. Cook so fast. Yeah, the fish cooks like two minutes, you know, aside probably. It's 10 minutes an inch. So we're going to see what happens here, but it looks like it's going to cook good. Thanks to Rolly's pan. And I'm getting smoke in my eyes. This is a real campfire. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, time to flip. Campfire cooking. Looks good. I'm going to spin these. Oh, those are hot. I'm going to spin these around. Oh, look at that, guys. All right. Awesome. All right, guys. George, I'm going to get some plates because the fish is done. So I'm going to move this over to the side and get my corn in the middle more because the fire, you know, I don't have the most even fire in the world. I only got one burner, as they say. So, so there we go. Let's do one more burst of fire before Darcy gets here, just for me and you. She caught us. <laughs> all right, though, Sizzle, it's all done. Give me your plate. Yummy. Got Brian's baby fork. Oh, thank you so much. Can't forget that. Thank there you. you go. Couldn't get paper plates. This is a campfire. This isn't the King of England. Jeez. You guys watch The Crown? It's really good. Darcy thinks it's for old people. No. Brian just watched all the good seasons without me. <laughs> all right. Have some corn. I'm not sure it's going to be done. Yeah. Check it out. Too hot to touch. Too hot to touch. Let me see my baby fork. Baby fork. Woo. Got my land shark since Brian didn't bring me one. I was too busy drinking. <laughs> well, let's taste it, Darcizzle. Delicious. I already know it's going to be delicious. Corn is hot. It's actually really moist and juicy, whoa. Corn is good to me. Spanish mac is delicious. It's really good. Super good. So, you I, know, when I when I talked about the recipe in Facebook, though, Sizzle, and I think you put it on Instagram, too, or the story. Yeah. People are like, oh, we don't eat that, and it's calling it bait. Yeah. I, I don't think some of you guys know what you're talking about. I, it's really interesting, but I thought it was about 50-50. Half the people said that, that Spanish mac is amazing, and the other half have been told no, don't eat that fish, toss it out, it's bad, trash fish, which I'm just absolutely shocked. I guess it depends on where you are in the world. But you're missing out if you don't try Spanish mac. Yeah, you know, it's, it's much better than kingfish. Like, way better than kingfish, in my opinion. Wait, it's not even close. Kingfish stinks. <laughs> yeah. Even compared to this fish, it's amazing. This Super fish is delicious. White. I would definitely buy it, eat it again, not for views, or yeah. for YouTube, just to eat. Yeah. No, in the past, honestly, we've kept We've caught Spanish mackerel over the years, and I remember even one day we were on the boat with my dad, 
And he's like, cook that, that sucker up. It's going to be so delicious. We gutted it on the boat. We had it at the house, and it was amazing. And ever since then, we love Spanish Mac. Well, that was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. You remember that? No, I didn't until just now. No, but yeah, my dad was on the boat that day, and we caught one in a nice size like this one, too. And the meat is actually snow white by the time it's cooked. It looks um, 10 times better than kingfish. Nowhere compared yeah. to kingfish. And that simple little marinade was like perfect. You can really taste the fish. You don't need to know much. A lot of people saying fry it and all this stuff. I mean, go ahead, but you don't need to. You don't need to. There's no reason to. Like, So I think that's really about it. Yeah. You want to mention your bracelets for a sizzle mm -hmm. real quick? But yes, guys, don't forget about fish hook and anchor bracelets. Like always, Brian's wearing one today. Got them hooked up officially for the holidays. Don't forget about the sterling silver necklaces. Calendars are coming in now real soon. Bunch of sales going on. And just check out the website and everything that you need is down below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this different catch clean cook that we did. Comment below if you want more outside campground cooking and maybe on the beach cooking or something cool. <laughs> but let Brian finish his bite. I'm good, but let's go. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Toast. Toast. Okay. Too late. You missed it. Oh my gosh. <laughs>